Okay, I've completed the trail camera test and just want to talk briefly, not, not going to get super long-winded here, just want to talk briefly about the importance of trail cameras. Um, I would say in my entire hunting life, trail cameras have been the most revolutionary tool to help guys locate uh, mature deer, locate deer in, in general. Um, they, they serve such a vital part of the way I hunt personally. I hunt a lot in South Carolina in the swamps and I'm unable to glass uh, from long range because it's all cut over hardwoods with just some select small food plots here and there. So without trail cameras, it would really just be boots on the ground and scouting, which is also ultra important to, to do the woodsmanship and to have boots on the ground. But from, a, from an intel standpoint, um, when, when you're tracking down or trying to find big mature deer to hunt, there is no better tool, in my opinion, than a trail camera. So to me, it's super important to have the best possible trail camera that I can have. So that's why I wanted to do this test to make sure I'm using the best possible trail camera that I can. Um, okay, got that kind of out the way. Um, we did six brands. We did the Lone Wolf Custom Gear cameras, which is a bit of an outlier liar we'll talk about in a second. We did the Cuddy Back. We did the Reconyx. We did the Coverts, the Moultries, and the Brownings. And I'll get into the models and all that when we dive into the cameras. Um, and the way we did it, we tried to do it as fair as possible. I bought three new cameras of each brand and bought them from across the country so they would be very, very random. Um, and how we set them up, we set every camera up as close to the same as we possibly could. Uh, we set up um, 12 megapixel or closer pictures, two shot burst or as close to that as we could get. Um, we had 16 gigabyte cards in every camera. Um, we set the sensitivity on as high as possible. Um, we set all the cameras up, as you'll see, on a four foot high uh, level board. We set all the cameras level. Um, the one thing we did find when we set them up was that, um, Kevin actually pointed this out, was that the Moultries and the Brownings, if you set them down level, they pitch back. So we had to actually level them uh, out and, and retake those pictures. So that was um, something that we found in the test. The rest of them all sit perfectly level. And then what we did is we set irrigation flags out at 5, 15, uh, 25, 35, 45, and 55 feet. And then we walked by at each one of those ranges. And then we rode the electric bike by at each one of those ranges at between four and five miles an hour to, to make it very consistent and very fair. And we set the cameras up. We did one of each side by side and then repeated that. So they each got a fair shake and, and fair spacing. So we did it as absolutely fair as we possibly could because again, I wanna use the best camera that I can use as this is hugely important in locating a big deer. So we did this as well to get you know, a, a, an accurate, we didn't just take middle of the day pictures. What we did is we did a nine o'clock when, it's, it's in July right now. So we did a 9 p.m. when it's transitioning from daylight to dark. We did a set of pictures then. Uh, Kevin did that, that time frame. Then I did a 4.45 a.m. when it was pitch black dark and actually pouring down rain. And then we did a right at daylight, um, which was like 5.50 a.m. when it's transitioning from daylight or from dark to daylight. And then we did also did noon right in the middle of the day. So we did four times. We did the two gray hours right at dark, right at daylight, middle of the night and middle of the day to get a, 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 a sample of all the times that, that are important to see if one performed better at certain times. Um, so... I guess the, the first thing to talk about in the test is to kind of get into this uh, Lone Wolf uh, custom gear camera. It's a new camera that's just hit the market. Um, and it has some really unique features. It's, it's a bit of an outlier, um, you know, as, as they are new. Um, it, it's got the ability to use your cell phone with an app 
to download the pictures straight to your cell phone. Also, you can aim the camera using your cell phone, which is really helpful. The mounting system is probably the best out of all of these. Um, the way it clips, uh, the strap clips onto this bracket is, is really easy. Um, also, you can detach this back piece and actually screw it into a tree if it's a really big tree and you can't get a strap around it. Um, so really neat features. A um, couple things that we learned uh, with the camera is that it does flash red at night and when it clicks over from daytime to infrared, it does make a clicking noise. Now, I actually talked to Andre DeQuisto, the head of Lone Wolf Custom Gear. He's aware of this and told me that in all of his testing, it had zero effect on big mature deer. And that guy knows big mature deer probably better than anybody. Um, and they, apparently he has a patent pending on the red light. It does not affect the deer. And he is aware of the clicking sound when it, when it turns over. Um, you know, in certain circumstances, I will use this camera. Um, full transparency, the, the clicking does make me a little bit nervous. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll test it and, and see throughout the year because there definitely is a use for this camera with certain trees and in certain settings. So I will be using this camera some. Um, so that kind of takes the lone wolf. As far as the picture quality, the trigger speed, um, the moisture, all of that, the camera performed fine. Um, I won't say it was uh, top of the line as far as some of the other ones, but it certainly performed fine. Um, I think the thing to do is kind of start at the bottom of the pack and, and work back. Um, the cutty back, and I'm gonna have to dive into my notes here a little bit because we got so much going on. Um, let's see here. The cutty back, this is the G5017 model. It's a 20 megapixel camera. It looks like they're, they retail for around $200. Um, the camera, just is not one that we'll use. One of the three cameras didn't work at all. It came with an error message. Um, there were light, there were bulbs burnt out on both screens. The, the programming is very confusing. It uses D cell batteries, um, which are the big heavy batteries. Getting into the camera is very difficult. The picture quality was not great. Uh, the consistency was not good. So not a camera that we're gonna use. Um, don't know what I did wrong with the Reconyx. Uh, these cameras have been famous for years and years and years, uh, and, and a lot of guys swear by them and use them and love everything about it. Um, the, the, the camera picture quality was incredible, um, but the consistency was a little bit off. Um, you know, at, at certain distances, it would miss a picture. Uh, and, and I don't know if that has something to do with it being perfectly level, if it needs to be turned down a little bit, but um, it, it, was, it was a little inconsistent, but the picture quality was really, really good. Um, moisture, it, it didn't have um, uh, any moisture inside after the rainstorm that they went through. These cameras retail for right at $400. Um, the setup was a little bit confusing, but I'm sure after operating it for a while, you'd figure that right out. Um, and so, yeah, the, the Reconyx, good camera, uh, very expensive, a little bit inconsistent in our testing. Moving on to the Coverts. Uh, this is the NBF32, and I've actually used Coverts a lot over the last few years, so real familiar with these cameras. 32 megapixel, priced at $159. Um, they've done something new with the camera that I don't really like. The on-off switch is on the bottom, so when it's hooked to the tree, um, you have to bend down and look to see if it's on-off. Um, it'd be really nice if the on-off switch was up here or on top where you could, you could see to verify whether it's on or off. Um, the camera, as far as picture quality was concerned, it was a little inconsistent. Uh, the trigger speed was a little bit slow. Did see some moisture inside the camera. Um, and the pictures were a little bit blurry. Uh, so that's kind of the, the, the negative on the, on the Covert. Uh, the Moultrie, this is the M8000i 20 megapixel camera. Priced at $159, so one of the more inexpensive ones. 
Um, when, you, when you go to order them, the naming is a little bit confusing because they've got the M8000, they got the M8000i, and, and it's, it's kind of difficult to, to make sure you're ordering the exact right camera. Uh, the setup is not great. I actually set one of these up yesterday and I didn't have the little direction book and I couldn't figure it out. So it is a little bit confusing. Uh, trigger speed was a little bit slow. There was some moisture inside. Uh, the battery tray inside this thing is, is kind of junky. Uh, they, they don't have a split in between every row of batteries so they pop out and mess with each other. Um, let's see, also the fastening device feels a little flimsy and it is super loud when you close it. I mean, you can hear this. It, it almost sounds like a gunshot going off when you open and close it. Um, and we'll get into the positives about these here in a minute. Uh, the, the, the Browning, this is the Dark Ops Pro HD 24 megapixel. $179 was the best price that we could find for them, so one of the more inexpensive ones. The, the only real negatives for this camera, uh, the naming again is confusing. When you go to order them, they've got the Dark Ops Pro XDX, the Dark Ops this, the Dark, it's just, it, it seems like they could simplify the naming, but that's really pulling at straws to find something bad about you know, the naming. Um, and then I'm not real wild about this camo pattern. When you put it on a tree, it really stands out. Um, and then uh, there was a tiny bit of moisture in there, but, but not a whole lot. So we'll get into the positives of the cameras. Let's see where that is in my notes. I'm going the wrong way. Um, so we'll go through the consistency of the pictures, meaning it got every picture at every, uh, every distance through the walking and the riding of the bike, Browning won that. Trigger, spray, trigger speed, uh, Browning won that as well. All picks were in the middle of the screen or to the, to the start side. Either, you know, if you were coming in from the left, they were in the left frame, or if you're coming in from the right, they were in the right side of, of the frame. Uh, the clarity of the pictures, the Reconyx won that, followed closely by the Browning. Um, the distance, Browning and Moultrie, uh, and the coverts, all three of these got all the pictures all the way out to 55 feet. We didn't go past that to actually determine a winner in that category. 55 feet is a long way. That's daytime and nighttime pictures. Um, moisture, Reconyx uh, had the least amount of moisture inside of it, uh, followed closely by the Browning. And ease of use, by far the Browning was the easiest to use. So the winner in our trail camera uh, test was the Browning. A great, great little camera. Um, I actually may paint these just with a flat gray or something. I'm not, wild, again, not wild about the, the paint job here, but as far as cutting this bad boy on and the ease of use, everything is right there. Really simple, great picture quality, great distance, real consistent. Um, so we'll be using a lot of these cameras this year and excited to, to learn that. So again, Appreciate it. It took a lot of work. Um, these, these spreadsheets on this notebook paper weren't easy, but um, something that we wanted to do for ourselves and hope you guys can get some value out of it. Thanks so much. Any questions or comments, let us know. Appreciate you following along. And um, yeah, anything comes up with trail cameras or if you guys are using ones that aren't in this uh, sample, let us know. And, and next time we do this, we'll, we'll try and add some more and some different varieties and see how it goes. But thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate it.